Gene Butman Ford's walk around process slash multi point inspection given to us by Mr. Lath Issa. Hey, what's up, Tom? So, Lath, every time a customer comes into the dealership for service, what do we do? Give them this multi point inspection. What kind of benefit does that give to the customer? This gives the customer basically everything they need to know what's going on with their vehicle. So, this is like safety, maintenance? Definitely. Everything that they pretty much for their safety their vehicle safety obviously and in this case even anything you know you may see that could be under warranty something like that oh definitely okay. it's all covered in our multi plant all right well here let's look at what we're what, what do we first go over well, when we pop the hood first thing we do when we pop the hood uh, is we look at the engine oil that's obviously the most important thing mm -hmm. to the motor uh, we check the coolant levels and we actually have a coolant tester for that which okay. tells us if coolant safe or not Fill their washer solvent off, check their trans fluid. Trans fluid is hidden on this vehicle. Mm -hmm. Not very easily accessible, but it still gets checked every time. Uh, check the air filter, and we uh, test the battery to make sure that cold cranking amps are at factory specification with this battery tester. A factory tester too, huh? Yep. Cool. Uh, we also check the brake fluid for discoloration or the reservoir is really dirty. So when it comes to maintaining these fluids, is there kind of like a life interval for some of them? Oh, definitely, yeah. Uh, we actually have a 30,000 mile increments mm -hmm. for these fluids. Basically, we recommend the trans fluid be flushed every 30,000, coolants every 100,000, power steering, if it is equipped with a power steering, is uh, 30,000. A lot of the new, and I would say that because a lot of the new vehicles come equipped with electronic power steering. As for exactly. This well, I mean, this is something that, and it also kind of depends on how the person drives, too. Oh, definitely. It depends on the person driving habits. If they drive the car really hard, fluids are going to be looking pretty bad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So after under the hood, what else do we look at? Uh, put the car up, and we look at it the air, shake down all the suspension, make sure nothing's loose, we check the brakes, check the tire tread depth, tri tire tread depth gate. Uh, um, and we check the tire pressure. Cool. Make sure the exhaust system's all good. Make sure there's nothing hanging loose under the vehicle. Like you said, safety is a big part. Oh yeah, safety is definitely a big factor in this game. Well, I mean, it's something that seems like it's a value to us and to the customers. Definitely, we want to make sure the customer's safe and happy every time they come in and out of the store. Well, thanks, Leif. Yep. Thank you, Tom.